What's up everybody? We are down here at the shop. Today is a big day. We are doing final assembly. We are sharpening and putting the final edge on this batch of lookouts that we've been talking about over the last couple months. Whatever you're doing right now, stop, click the link below in the description. That is a link to sign up for our newsletter. It's on our homepage of our website. Go to the very bottom of the page. You'll see a place to sign up tomorrow, Friday the 8th. We are launching this batch of 40 lookouts, handmade here in our US Chattanooga shop. We are so excited to get any kind of big batch out to you. This is the first of that. We could not be more excited. I know I'm excited, I hope you guys are as well. This knife is incredible. We are just so pleased with the way that it's turned out. I personally have been carrying one for the last few weeks and am obsessed with it. Go sign up for that newsletter. Hopefully you can grab one of these. There's only gonna be 40. So. What we're doing here at the shop today, like I said, we are assembling, we are putting the final edge on them, we are doing some sharpening, we're also uh, doing some photography for them. So we're gonna do the product photos today as well. Danny is here, we're actually gonna do the photos here in the shop. We thought, what a better place. Let's check it out, let's get this project done. Danny. Yo, what are you doing? What's up, man? Snapping a few product photos of the lookout. Oh, yes, there it is, everybody. This is the first time you've seen this knife in its final form. This one's a fully assembled one. I think this is number three of the 40. Uh, in case you forgot, they are numbered here on this heel. Green micarta, magna cut, stone washed, tumbled blade, lasered in-house, hardware is made in-house. A lot of people don't realize that most knife companies don't actually make their own hardware. So apparently it's pretty common actually to source hardware in the knife world. I actually didn't know this till recently. Matt told me about this. And so one unique thing is we're actually making some hardware in house here on our lathe. So we have the machinery and we ran all of the titanium hardware here in house, which is pretty cool. Something kind of unique, you know, not everybody gets the opportunity to do that. So um, something we're very proud of. The sheath is really cool. I'm really, really happy with these. It's a black ambidextrous sheath. It's got an ulti clip on the back. These are made. Uh, the cool thing is like just a few miles from my house, just a guy that makes them in his basement. Wolf Teaver Leather Company is the name of the guy in case you were wondering. I think his yeah. name was Phil, really nice yeah. guy. I just met him the other day. He's an cool. old friend of Max. And what better place yeah. to shoot product photos? Look at this, on an anvil. Than in the shop that it's made in. Exactly, so, that's what yeah. we were thinking. It's great. This is perfect. Oh, look and look at, at this. Uh, ah. This was ah. not planned. Arctic Vibe. Brought to you by Celsius, Live Fit. Still mm -hmm. working on that sponsorship. There you, you know go. What I'm saying? You know. So we're shooting today between 35 and 50 mil. 35 70, and 50. 70 mil looks really good. But I like a 70 mil for photos. I, I like nice and punched feel, in. I like, I, I like it to feel like you're almost in it. Like, like you're standing there, hand in it, instead of all that compression that 70 kind of brings. So... Trying out some new stuff today. So going with a with a lower mill lens. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Am I to understanding make it that feel correctly? like you're closer, like it's almost in your own hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. in hand. In hand. <laughs> in hand. <laughs> um, about finished up with this place. And this then, shot. I mean, an anvil. I want to go check out some of the other uh, machines Mac has here. Yeah, some of the spots that he actually made the knife in too. Exactly. Yeah. It would be cool to get a shot in the assembly room. Let's go. Let's do it. You want to go check that out? I had three hours and 40 minutes of sleep last night. <laughs> three hours and 40 minutes of sleep. I got more than double that. Uh, assembly rooms over here. Nice. Welcome to the assembly room. So we've got first few batches ready for assembly. Uh, this is most of them. I think Mac is finishing up. We'll catch up with him in just a second. Uh, finishing up about, I think he said five or six left. So he's almost done. So as soon as he gets those last groups sharpened, he's gonna get them nice and sharpened up. And then, gosh, we're gonna start assembling here in a minute. He said he has to strop them, which is gonna get some of the burring off of the sharpening and kind of put the final touches on the edge. That already feels really good. So really happy with these. I love the way the lasering turned out. It's got kind of this dark black edge. So um, like you've seen in the other, uh, videos that new logo for our US stuff is kind of our classic I logo that we've had for years um, with a cool little American flag waving in the background speaking of speaking of speaking of dude if you know me 
you know that I've got a big idea sticker on. Danny stick loves. Them everywhere. In case you didn't know, Danny likes to put big eye stickers all check over the world. New, check out that Look new. Look at this. Sticker. So all of our U.S. stuff is going to come with. Oh, I can see it. It looks great. <sighs> Just got these in the other day. Right. We have another cool. I don't know if do you have a one of the other things on you. I don't have one on me. I have one on my desk. What's one of the other things? We also not only with every one are you going to get, you know, the cool new American Big Eye sticker, kind of representing that it's something from the, the U.S. shop. Um, you're also going to get a one-inch Ranger Eye of the same thing. So we got Ranger Eye patches, baby. Everybody loves Ranger Eyes. So you get a sticker, you get a Ranger Eye patch, you get a custom-made wooden box, you get a handmade lookout. Dude, that's dope. It's a, it's a kit. All right, so I want to stick this kit. somewhere in here, and I'm not going to tell anybody. But you're just going to uh, stick it. Yeah. So where did I put it? Let's see. Thinking somewhere, there's some somewhere that Mac here would already. love. Oh, let's see. Look, there's the classic eye logo. We're going to love it. If you have bought any Big Eye products, you get one of those in the box with it. So that's sticker number two. Woo, look sticker at that Sticker number one. Look at that thing. Sticker number one is on a lamp post outside of Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. So yep. If you see it, tag it. If you're if you're near Atlanta or not Atlanta, if you're near Nashville, near Bridgestone Arena, and you see one of those stickers, you can call the police and tell them that Danny did it. Uh, it was <laughs> every time Danny sends me a picture of him putting a sticker on something in public, I always say straight to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Vandalism is real. <laughs> you should you should yeah. put in the clip of the, <coughs> the guy from Parks and Rec straight to jail. Stay straight to jail. <laughs> oh man, like I was saying about the hardware, back to real stuff. <laughs> so this is the TI hardware. This is all stone washed finish, uh, tumbled in a in a tumbler right back there. There you go. Right there in the back room. You guys have been back there before. So even all this hardware, these are Chicago screws on the back, which is really cool because you can actually pass through a lanyard if I can pick one up. It's either hollow. And so if you want a lanyard on the heel of your knife, you can pass some paracord straight through that little hole and you don't have an extra hole in your knife. Pretty clever. So yeah, so right through here would be that Chicago screw. Then you have another just normal T uh, T8, I believe it is. T8 or T6. I think it's a T6. I can find out for sure. Yep, so you have this nice clean design like you guys have seen. Here's my personal lookout. This is the standard model. Of course, these are, like I said earlier, M390, grade 5 titanium on the scales. These are so sick. This one, if you can tell, I've been busy with it. This thing is disgusting, and I just cleaned it like two days ago. So... This thing has been getting some work. It's the only knife I've had in my pocket for the last like two weeks, and it has gotten a lot of use. So really, really in love with this thing. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Hopefully, you guys feel the same way, because we're very stoked on it. We cannot wait for you guys to get these. My favorite colorway. Stone washed with an OD green. A little on the lighter side of some OD greens. Uh, in some light, it even kind of has like a tan look, wouldn't you say, Danny? Like a kind of like a it goes from like green to almost like a warm brown almost like the brown in a in a in a camo yeah that's true like in a multicam yeah which i guess you're going to use od green in multicam i think that would be desert tan but it's not like a, it's definitely more green than, than tan the, the this lighting is very harsh so it's a little lighter on camera than it is in real life so i would say i'd fix that but i don't know how <laughs> getting some product shots this is cool i love that's a cool shot all this texture in the tool chest right here all this uh Black. Look at that. Nastiness. That does look cool. Boom. Ooh. Let's throw in some product shots uh, while we're talking about it. Here. Throw in some product shots right here? Yeah. I'll send you some photos. No thanks. Throw them in. <laughs> <laughs> in case you guys couldn't tell, I love giving Danny a hard time. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a young guy. You know, and so he's a lot to learn. Younger. We are ten, 10, ten days apart. Ten days I'm actually ten days older than Danny. So my yeah. favorite thing to tell him all the time is, I remember when I was your age. It's like a week and a half ago. <laughs> and he's like, I do too. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go see what Max doing. He's probably doing real work. All right. It's not really good to be doing that right now. Woo! There he is. <laughs> Mac loves when I invade his personal space with a camera without telling him. He's a big fan. So Mac's been hard at work. 
getting these stuff ready, everybody say hi to Mac in the comments. I'm gonna try not to bother him as much as possible today. He's got a lot on his plate and he's crushing it. Everybody give Mac a wave, a high five in the, con <laughs> in the comments. I'm gonna let him keep moving. We'll check in with him in just a second. What are you doing? Oh, just a staining. Just a staining? Just a staining. Like we talked about the other day. He spent like a month on these boxes. And I said, these are the world's most expensive boxes. <laughs> but it's worth it. This is your drying pile? No, the drying pile is over here. Oh, there's a drying pile. Let's go check out the drying pile. There's the old Dodge with a massive hammer. What is, what in the world? A dead blow. Here we go. There's the drying pile. How many coats are you putting on these things? Two. Two coats. Two coats. So two coats of, uh, what are you using on these? Watco Danish oil. Watco Danish oil. In case you're curious. Smells really good. It does, actually, I like that smell. I'm one of those weird people. I like the smell of gas and like, yeah. I, I've grown up with old cars, so I love, I love the smell of gas. Just reminds me of, of fondly of my childhood, <laughs> smelling gas. <laughs> I, I promise I'm fine, everybody. <laughs> what did you and your buddies do? I swear I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a hand applying. So how long are these gonna take to dry? Um, about 24 hours 24 or so? 24 hours, yeah. So they'll, be, they'll probably be ready tomorrow? Oh yeah. Oh they will be yeah. Wrapped and ready tomorrow. Dude, the people at home are very excited. And by tomorrow, that is Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Like I said, these are dropping on Friday. They're gonna be available to the public via newsletter. You don't even be able to find them on our website for the first little bit. So they're gonna be in the newsletter only. That's the only way you're gonna be able to find the link to the product. So remember, click the link down in the description. That is where you can find the place to sign up for the newsletter. On the homepage of our website, bigeyedesign.com or bigeyedesign.co. If you're international, that's co. All the way at the bottom, you'll see a place to put an email address, you hit submit, super easy. Make sure you do that. I wanna to touch one of these, but I'm not going to. Those are fine. No, 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 no. Those are fine. I'm not getting these fingerprints sucked into that finish. Find the one with a B on it. The one with the B, where is it? Probably over is there. Is it over there? It's probably <laughs> over there. If you order one of these and you get the one with the B on it, and you didn't want the one with the B on it, I am sorry. <laughs> But watch the vlog. Yeah, let me know who gets it and I'll, uh, I'll like put it in the, in the description who got it. Just, just, you know, why not? Be cool to have. If you watched our TI pocket knife product overview video, at the end of the video, I took the knife I was talking, you know, using for display and kind of talking about the specs and all that, all that whatnot, you know, you've probably seen those videos. I took it at the very end of the video and I stabbed it into the drywall in the room. Luckily it was pretty, you know, normal office drywall. It's real thin. So I stabbed it into the wall, but then when I when I, I cleaned it, make sure it was fine, you know, it was fine. It didn't hurt it at all. And I wrote a little note and said, this is the knife that I stabbed into the wall. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and I repacked it and I don't know who got it. So if you got that, let me know. I'd love to know where it went. That's I just think that's funny. So I know I personally love that kind of weird stuff. So I'm out of here. Let me get out of your way. You're the best. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> Max, like I'm too busy for your nonsense today, Brantley. All right, let's talk just a few specs on this knife. Overall length is dead on six inches. The blade length is two and a quarter inch. So this knife is really designed to be an EDC fixed blade. It has become my favorite knife. I've had it in my pocket the last few weeks. Could not be happier with it. So Magna Cut on this first version, green micarta scales. You have full TI hardware, like I said, made in-house. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, and these are all gonna be numbered on the back, uh, but they're gonna be numbered, what number it is of 40. So this one in particular is number three of 40. So that first batch we did for Blade Show, if you remember those, we did first, which was first production run, it was only 10 items, and then what number of 10. So if you have that first one of 10 or whatever number of 10, that's that very, very first batch. This is the first batch of 40 that are handmade. So, like I said, what number you have of 40. Each one's gonna ship with the custom wooden box. It's gonna come with the Ranger eye patch, which is so cool, I'm really excited about it. We just got those in. Um, and the leather sheath that's handmade here in town. It's um, a black leather. 
that is ambidextrous, so you can do left pocket or right pocket carry, plus an ulti clip. Remember, the newsletter's the spot to be, so go sign up now. To do the fronts again. Coins are almost done. So we got three more, three more coins. Those things are done. Like I said, those things take like three hours on the laser. I forgot to mention in the, what comes with it. They also come with a coin and the number, there's number one of 40 is right there. So COA coin, wooden box, Ranger eye patch, leather sheath, ulti clip. It's a full, the full kit and caboodle as they say. All right, so Mac is starting the final assembly. A T20 on the rear with a Chicago screw. Uh, like I showed you a minute ago, that is the pass-through screw that you can put the lanyard on. And a T8 on the front. So T20 and a T8, all titanium, all made here in this shop by those hands. <laughs> That's true, he didn't make the screws. I think Josh made the screws, right? Josh is the lathe whisperer. And Mac's kind of doing the final QC, final little details that need to be gone over just to make sure these are nice and done well. This has been his passion project for the last few months. Almost done. Almost done. Just got to put some screws in, put them in their boxes, wrap them, and they're done. You guys have done a great job. I right, dude. Appreciate you. You're the best. All right, that is the end of the line for this production on these 40 Lookouts. We so appreciate you guys following along in these vlogs. We hope you've enjoyed them as much as we have. We will be back with some more vlogs, what's going on behind the scenes here at the shop when we get into this production run of the actual production Lookouts. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna get that mill up and running. That's gonna play a crucial part in how we go about making those knives here in-house. So. Thank you guys for checking it out. Hope you guys have a great week and sign up for that newsletter because that's how you're going to get one of these. We'll see you in the next one.